I'm Adam and this is another illuminating episode of The Shirtless Apprentice. Today we're going to cover uh, three-point lighting. It's one of the more uh, basic things that you learn if, when you start shooting podcasts. It's a quick, easy way to light a subject. Um, right now, obviously, I'm not lit. Um, in this episode, we're going to focus on lighting our subject, Russell. Um, he's a little bound up at the moment. Anyway, uh, we're gonna start with the with a key light, which is gonna be your main light. Uh, that's gonna be uh, back over here, straight ahead of the subject. So, if you take a look at the subject, when you turn the key light on, it's gonna provide most of your light for the shoot. So you can kind of see if you can see uh, where the shadow is on his face. The shadow is on the opposite side of the key light. So what you use for that is you use a fill light. Fill light's usually about 75%, two thirds of uh, the strength of the key light. So if we watch now what the, what the fill light's gonna do, the fill light now is gonna be a little lower uh, than the key, and it's gonna fill in some of those shadows with, without, without making any more shadows on the other side of his face. Um, and although there is still some shadow, you want some kind of a, you know, some kind of drama to the lighting. You don't need it perfectly flat, um, but it's just gonna take away that total contrast of light and dark. Um, also, what's very important is the angle, the relationship between the key light and the, uh... What's very important is the relationship between the key light and the, um, and the fill light. The, the, the side fill light, uh, is gonna be, you know, at about, kinda, at a 45 degree angle to the opposite side of the key light. The key light should be a little bit off uh, from where the camera is on the other side of the fill. Um, so opposite sides of the camera, the fill light and the key light. Um, the last thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, position a backlight. Um, what a backlight's going to do, a backlight is going to provide that pop. It's going to make them kind of stand out off the background a little bit. Um, if, if you're shooting them in front of a green screen, it'll take whatever green is on their shoulder that would normally cause a problem keying. It's going to kill that. It's going to put some light on it. A uh, proper way to set the backlight is to work on it while it's down low. A lot of people put the light up and they're reaching for it and usually causes a lot of, uh, a lot of extra work that you don't need. Um, uh, on this key light here, I have it. Uh, I have a little bit of diffusion on it because I want the light spread across the ba his back and his head. I don't want any spots on him. Also, I have the light flooded all the way, um, and that's just the same thing. You want a diffused light, so I have it flooded. There's a knob on there to flood it. We're gonna turn it on, and then uh, you're just gonna raise it up as needed. You want it kind of above him and behind him directly, and if you can see that this key light is, pr is providing a nice light on the back of his head. Give you that nice pop. And that's gonna give you that nice, that nice pop right there. Puts a little light in their hair, a little light on the side of their shoulders. And for a sit-down interview, it gives it a nice look. People want to pay attention to what they have to say. And that's the basics of three-point lighting. Um, this has been another illuminating episode of The Shirtless Apprentice. I'm Matt.